What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again with another tutorial advice tip for the Photoshop. So today it's gonna be another quick tip. Um I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram. I've been seeing it a lot using cover arts, things like that. And it's just a quick tip, especially if you're into the photography field. So what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna take some photos. I took some photos of Tiger behind the scenes. I took some photos of Trippy Red behind the scenes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo and we're just going to change some colors on it. Maybe change the orange to red, blue to green, purple, something like that. But yeah, we're just going to play with the colors and we're just going to change the color of a specific item in a photo. I'm going to show you how to do it. Quick, easy, let's hop into it. So what we're going to do is take this photo, we're going to drop that in to Photoshop. Photoshop is going to open. Voila. Now we're here in Photoshop. You see the picture. We can go down here. Go down to go down to this little half and half button. Press this. You're gonna click on hue and saturation. You can also, it's more than two ways to skin a cat. So you go to adjustment, you can go to adjustment layers, hue and saturation too. But we don't need to do that because we already have it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, take this, we're gonna press this little arrow with the two. And we're gonna just pick a color. So we're just gonna pick the sky right now. See what the sky is like. Sky, and we're gonna change the hue of the sky. You don't have to press colorize or anything like that. So when you press this hue, as you can see, there's little sliders that touch you like the parameters of the colors that you're picking. So we're gonna go blue. And if I want it less blue, more blue, all this stuff. So we're just gonna click blue. All right, and then we're gonna change the, co the, sc the color of the sky, but everything that's blue, it's gonna be turned to the new color. So I just do wanna make the color like purple, kinda of like that Travis Scott type feel. Put saturation down a bit. Doing the lightning set. Boom. And I kinda of like this purple on orange, like it's pretty simple. If I wanted to be extra, I'd probably mess around with these. You can mess around with the parameters. And as you can see, if I zoom in, when you play with these parameters, just to see small details, small details fix, like the shadows, boom, I kind of like that. Then uh, you got this, so I probably want to change this orange, I don't know, to like a, like a brown. Really wanted to. Yeah. That's cool. You do cool too, but I'm gonna stick with this like this lighter on. It was already orange, but it's lighter now. But yeah, that's a cool looking picture right there, man. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple tutorial. I didn't want to keep it too long, man. Like, it's just simple. And as a, as a, any Photoshop user knows, all you gotta do is click on this mask here. It's already masked out. Make the brush black, and you can do it. You can. There you go. Then you go to blue sky right there. You can keep all his clothes the same if you really wanted to. Keep him on the same, and then keep that. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to do the back seat, if you just want to keep the car the same. You know what I'm saying? Anything. You can take, change anything. I just make his pants, this color, anything like that. The red photo in there, you got the same thing. Like, if you want to do it and change anything, you do the hue saturation or if it's any photo. Same thing, press this button right here. Boom. Press the blue. Make it like, like lighter to match the shirt in the background, stuff like that. Oh, but sometimes it takes the whole thing. Sometimes, like I said, you only want like a part. So if you really wanted to, you would click the back, something like that. But for this one, I think you're gonna select him and then just crop him out real quick. I use the object selection tool to give me a good starting base. Just click on it like that. Click on him. Boom. We're just gonna expand it a little bit. And this is real raw. So don't don't judge me on this. I'm not going back too far to like 
try to fix anything. Don't don't judge me, people. I'm trying to make it quick and easy. I'm trying to keep this tutorial less than four minutes. So. Um, Alright, and what you're gonna do with this, you're gonna right click, layer via cut, and now you have, uh, uh, now you're gonna do right click, layer via copy, so you always have that background. And this, I probably just turned that to adjustments, black and white layer. Now you just kinda have it, yeah, kinda have it standing out, which is pretty cool, and then like from there you can go filter, blur. And make it a blur in the background you know what i'm saying if anything like if you really want to do it i would do it like all right hue and saturation do that to the background change the hue and saturation in the background Colorize it, press this colorize, and then yeah, what's a good color that thing? Probably orange, right? Turn that up. Maybe it's the same as that, you know? That's pretty cool. Boom. Same as shirt. So now you have that, which is pretty cool. So yeah, man. There we have it. And that's it. Like, literally, those two things, that's it. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, not too complicated. Um, I'll be looking out for you guys in the next tutorial. I'll holla. Make sure you share this with your peoples. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss nothing for the next time. Until then, I'm going to do what it do. So I'm going to see you. Bada boom, bada bang. Till next time.